Hi and welcome back to my playthrough of Trick Harry on using Dark Arts Academy and from that I'm using the official solo variant Dark Arts Air. I think rule-wise I was okay and as you are aware I was not so sure if I wanted to play this game to the end but upon various requests I received and thank you so much for those I really decided to play this game to the uh, let's call it bitter end. That means four more full rounds, which is quite an exercise to be honest. So I really have to speed things up in order to do it. Not quite sure. Hmm. Now if this will be the last episode, I really have to do it in two remaining episodes. Let's wait and see. And yeah, let's get started. So I will reroll all those dice. I will choose two of those dice to reroll. I cannot choose those of them. I have to use this one, but I will do this off camera now. So magically new results appears and here I see assistant and I think I want that assistant for sure before Dargat's air goes there. There's also a lot of money waiting for me. Apart from that, not too many things have changed in respect to those blocking stones. I think only those two move pretty much here to the right. The rest remain the same. And now, yeah, let's go into the planning. Huh, but before we go into the planning, we go into the advertisement phase. He's first because he's behind, so he can advertise for free. That gives him two points. I could spend three coins in order to gain two, but I think I need my money this round, so I'd rather not. And now we do the planning. And here I really did a bold move, to be honest. So I sent two of my characters to downtown. Not really sure if I will be able to do that. One to the academy there. So, but let's see what the mechanic will do. We will discard this card here. So let's reveal the next one. Okay, that's another prepare. So he's not really going to the theater, it seems. And he will also not spend any of his special assignment cards. And yeah, he will go first. And yeah, this is what I feared. He will definitely go to downtown first. So he will send his magician there, which means he will most likely either go for another trick. Uh, let me just check that. But I lost a spot here. So I will only be able to go here pretty much. And yeah, either go for the assistant if, it's, if she is still available or he, um, or I will have to go for the trick, which is also okay. And yeah, unfortunately he will not go for another trick because he already has two of his current fame threshold. No, he will go for the assistant here instead. And this really sucks. Of course, she will. he will only get her at the end of this round. He has still one more die left. And with his remaining die, he will simply grab six gold. I don't need to go to downtown right away. I have sent or assigned two characters there, but I don't need to send two of my characters here. And if I'm not using the special assignment cards, if its character is idle, I don't have to pay for him. And on top of this, I get this card back, which is cool. But right now there are way more important um, things here. I think I will send my protege to the academy because that's our next most important contested location. If I would send him here, I would have to pay three coins because of the current prophecy. I won't do that. And I think um, Dargaz Air ignores those um, tokens. So I will send my protege here, which brings us to two action points for this action. And I think I will go for a secret card in order to power up my protege. I think that was my plan all along. So yeah, let's go for this one because this offers me a discount when I build or renovate a room. And yeah, I get one more action point. But no, this guy costs us two coins each round. So but he also gives us two more or one more action point. There are no more contested locations. So his next priority will be to go to the academy. So he will send his engine here for four action points. And this gives him two actions there. He's already maxed out in respect to secret tiles. So we'll no longer go for those. So his next priority will be to send a trick to a practice room. And he will go for the trick with the highest yield. And then there are also some, let's say, um, workflows or some priorities he's follows. Right now there is only one practice room slot left. So he will place his diamond shaped trick here. And this pretty much allows him now to place his diamond trick uh, into any orientation. So he no longer has to follow the rules that you have the trick category in within a circle or so, which is depicted by this whistle, which can be really powerful in order to maximize your yeah link bonuses, for example. The next priority is to place a trick into a classroom. He will go follow another priority. In this case, he will go for shards. He will place the trick with the lowest yield value onto a classroom. This now gives him one shard at the end or at each classroom phase. Um, it's, this trick 
yield for this trick has zero, but he still gets this plus one because it's a level one trick in this case. And those were all of the actions in the academy over to us. We will not use this one here, so we'll put it sideways. So mark it like here. We know we are not using him, but we will then send our magician to downtown here. So we get four action points. We definitely want this one. Let's go for this die here. So we get to choose a trick. And the idea is to go for the wolf cage here, which we can nearly complete. We are lacking the oil at this point in time, but I think we should be getting there. Next, he will send his apprentice or one of his apprentices to the theater. There he gets one action point, so he gets to prepare one trick. There he will place his future side trick onto this performance in the Grand Magoring here. This is a trick link. It's a threshold of two, which means he just scored two more points. And I think I want oops, to prepare my trick, the Enchanted Butterflies, for two action points here. But I will not be able to use it this round. And this is pretty much the end of the round for me because I'm not going to use my manager. He will now go to the market row and he will send his air there. So overall he has three, five action points. First of all, he will discard all the resources that are currently available in the market row. Right now, those are those basic resources. And then he will start to place those resources into the order slot. And then here, as he has more than enough action points, he will place all those three resources. I think it's left to right, top to bottom. Yeah, that's the case. Oil will go here. Then it's a dove. And last but not least is the mirror. And this is the oil we are waiting for. Awesome. So we will be able to get one can of oil for our wolf cage trick the next round. Awesome. Still his turn. His apprentice will go to the workshop doing nothing. And his last apprentice will go to the dark alley to this slot here. First of all, we will roll if he will rotate those things. One, two, three, he will rotate it. No, he will not rotate those. And then he will grab this downtown special assignment card. And I think that's also the end of the round. So I will do all the cleanup off camera now. I will pay the wages and whatnot. But again, ha, not so fast. Of course, we do not have a performance phase, but we still have the classroom phase. So we both get some bonuses. I think for Dargard's air, it's simple. He will simply grab one shard. And I just noticed something. This was stupid. Of course, I was not allowed to prepare this trick anymore because this is in the classroom. Uh, and this trick is already prepared. That's so stupid. I really should have sent my apprentice to the theater. Not really sure what I was thinking. I was on vacation for a week and this really messed things up. So I then really let me reconsider this. So I will not send this guy. I will not send him now to the theater because this would really have changed the priority of which the Dargat's air would have gone somewhere. So I will simply not use him. So therefore I will simply get back one coin or I have to pay one coin less in respect to wages. But of course, I will still gain the two fame points for the Enchanted Butterflies because I'm still teaching it. So I will go one, two spaces closer to him or pretty much to the same level as Dargard's heir. And then we can go into the end turn step. And those are the two new prophecies for this round. This is a cool one because this simply says I don't need to pay my protege anymore. Awesome stuff. I gain yet another action point and yeah, now he's free. And the second one is pretty cool. If I send the protege to the backstage area, I gain pretty much one fame and one coin. But I really like the end turn face bonus better, not need to pay my apprentice. That's two coins I save every round now from now on. Of course, there are only three more rounds left, but still, that could be still something to consider. Let's quickly roll those dice again. Okay, let's see. Okay, this time we do have some more, um, let's say, working power waiting for us. I really need to go there this round. I need someone desperately. Uh, yeah, I really need one more. That's clear. As we both have the same amount of fame points, the initiative is now reversed, which means I will go first. So I will definitely advertise. So I will spend one coin in order to gain two fame points. Unfortunately, he gets to do the same for free. So we are still tied for 31 fame points, really close finish. But I think 
he will now really get some more traction. The, the longer you play, the more powerful the air gets. I really need to get my third trick up and running in order to do something meaningful. Of course, I nearly forgot. I have to reroll those again. I decided to go with the mark draw, though this is blocked and this is blocked. So the theater will go here. And for my second die, I will quickly reroll this guy here so this doesn't change. Let's move the disc down here accordingly and now we go into the planning. Okay and that's my assignment for this round again I will try to get the character and I want to get him right away so I can directly plan with him that's so important but let's reveal his next card or let's send this away this is okay that's now a perform card so he will definitely perform because he has the six -sick lady available to him so he will now follow this priority let me do the assignment so he will really do a lot of preparations in the theater this round i will go first and i think i will go to downtown first i really want to make sure to get that assistant up there i really would have hoped for a better specialist um already have the manager keep that in mind so i will send the guy here so that's plus one though that's four action points so let's go for this assistant and because i used the hypnotic um, motivation here, I can immediately assign this character. So let's send him here. Let's send the onstage preparation or assign the onstage preparation card so I can really use this trick right away. Dargard will send his first um, engineer here. So he now has two action points and I think with two action points that's still only one trick but let me quickly check that. No that's actually two he can place and he will place his zigzag lady trick which is basically this one here. So he will place it like this. So this gives him two more fame points. I will quickly do that off camera. So he's now at 33 point. He can do the same again. This is something like this. So he will place it like this here. So this creates yet another link, another two victory points. So he's now at 35. And because there is a Tricarion shard, he also gets a shard for that. And you really see how powerful he gets the longer the game lasts. So wow, he's now really in the lead and preparing a lot of tricks. So he has four tricks out on performance cards right now. And he will definitely perform one of those. So he will gain more trick yield. So yeah, I think he will take the lead anytime soon now. I will go to the market row with two actions, but I only need one of those because I need one oil can here. So I will use this one to bargain pretty much to reduce the price of this oil can down to one, which means I have to pay one coin and I have the oil can. And now I do have enough resources to prepare the wolf cage. Next, he will send his assistant to this slot here with two because he's, she's using a special assignment card. She has now three APs, but on easy mode, he still only gets to prepare one trick. I mean, two tricks. So one has to go here. This was the last trick marker of the six sack lady, but still this gives him two more fame points. So now he reached 36 points so he can go to the next level of tricks, which is really important for him. He still can place one more. He will now place the window to the other world trick and he can only place it here and he's not able to create a trick link. Here is not a circle, so I cannot place it like this. But of course, uh, he's practicing the trick, so he doesn't need to know, but that's the wrong trick. So yeah, um, yeah, let's simply do it like this for example doesn't really matter so he doesn't get any additional um, link bonuses but one thing that will happen now is that his stance will move to busy pretty much because he no longer has tricks available of his highest fame trick category at this point in time so he will now follow a slightly different um, priority but he doesn't really care. He has six tricks out on those performance cards. So he will score like crazy anyway. Then I want to prepare a trick. So I will do that here. Of course, I will prepare the 
wolf cage trick so that's now my heart trick unfortunately only one token that's really really lame and now when i prepare this i'm using this on stage preparation i can pretty much send this trick right away i don't get any link bonuses for that but i think i can live with that so i think i want to place this guy huh, like this again i don't get the the link bonus this would have been three points for me but yeah i decided to do it this way because i needed it yeah i think i have to do it like this next he will send his air to downtown that's now four ap's as he now has a fame threshold of 36 he will go for yet another trick he will go for the question mark the left one he will use his favorite um trick category which is mechanical trick so let's simply grab one of those so he will get yet more powerful so i shuffle those cards let's simply reveal one and he will go for the hellhound wow six fame thresholds yeah as you know he will start this pretty much um prepared and he will simply discard the trick with the lowest um yield pretty much so he will put this one here so this is now his next yeah crosses kind of thing he will get some resources on his shopping list but one thing that he will lose lose now is the trick marker from his classroom and with his second die he will grab the remaining specialist the manager okay then let's send our manager to the theater as well and okay one thing i forgot of course of course we should have received some victory points here. I believe he prepared this trick here twice. So two of those um, escape tricks. So please keep me honest here. So I will give him two or uh, four more points now. One, two, three, and four. And I will also gain one, two points because I prepared the wolf cage trick. I didn't get the link bonus, but at least I was allowed to gain this bonus from this prophecy tile here. Awesome. And now I get to prepare my final trick which is the rabbit from the top hat. This is an optical trick. I created a link, so I gain two more points for this. Hooray! Next, he will send his apprentice to the academy. There he will gain one action. He will prepare one trick in the classroom. His next lowest trick is the window to the other world, which is his heart trick. The heart doesn't provide him any shards, so he will go for the basic bonus here of one shot each classroom phase. So I was happy for a moment that he is not getting anyone, but it could have been worse. So he could have gone here pretty much and then he would have received this link bonus here, which would have given him yet another shot each classroom phase. Also not pretty. With my last action, I will send the magician to the theater. He will go to downtown. He will roll the die. One, two, three. He will rotate it. Yes, he will rotate the prophecies. And then he will grab his special assignment card accordingly. And I think those were most all of our actions. Of course, he will send this magician to the theater with his last action. And then we move into the perform phase. And again, I didn't think straight. Oh, man. Yeah, he will now go for this performance card, it seems so, because he will go for the highest combination of fame plus those links. So here it's three points and here it's one, two points. No, I think it's he's goes he's going here. He's going here. OK, I'm lucky. So he will go for this performance. He can also go here. That's two, three points. No, I think in this case he will go to this performance card here. So in total, that's two plus one link. That's three points. One, two, three fame points here. Of course, he will still gain the yields of his two tricks there. So that's five more points for his two tricks. He will gain those markers right back, which is always good for him. And he will also gain some coins that's two plus that's five coins he gains on top of this so he will discard those two fivers or these 10 coins here for two fame points at the end of this round really sucks okie dokie then it's our performance and of course we will go for this perform or we have to go for this performance i have to have a trick on the performance card in order to perform there so again one two three points here which is not bad so 
38 it is, I gain three coins for the performance bonus. I gain three more coins because our manager is backstage. And then I get the trick yield accordingly. So I get the wolf cage and I get the rabbit from the top hat. The rabbit from the top hat is currently in the training room. So that's four points. I'm doing this on a Sunday. So that's five points here. I get four more points. That's nine points in total. Really not bad. Bringing me to 47 points. Unfortunately, he also gains some points out of this. I still gain some coins because of my trick. That's two, because I'm practicing it, plus the Sunday. That's three coins from the rabbit from the top hat, plus four. That's seven more coins. Awesome. And on top of this, I also gain a trick carry on shot because of my wolf cage trick. Unfortunately, he gets the yield as well. So that's two more coins here. Uh, two more fame points from the zigzag lady and then his four more points. So that's six more points for him and four more coins. So he's going to 55 points in total. And on top of this, he gets four more coins and he gets his trick markers right back. This was the performance phase over to the classroom phase. He gets the tricarion shot. I gain my usual two points. And then we move into the end turn phase. Normally those tricks would have been discarded, but not for Dalgats if he gets to score those tricks right away. How cool is that? But the good thing is he gets a malice of one and one. So he gets two points for the hard trick, one and two, and only one point for this one, for the spade trick. He still gets those tokens back. This is really the bad news pretty much and yeah on top of this he still gets some coins which is pretty much three more and we are really lucky here because he's now at nine here but he will cash in those ten coins right away for yet two more points hooray okay that's round six i already rewrote all those dice i also use the setup dice here accordingly and i will go first of course i will advertise for one coin that's one two more points he will do the same without any cost it's really one of the rules i'm not really like maybe we should really play it like whatever if he's behind he will not be allowed to do that or something like that this is really something that kind of feels a bit lame to be honest okay that's my assignment phase this is what i will do this is what he will do again he will have a performance round this turn which really sucks i will go first and i will send my protege to the academy with uh, now four action points so first of all i want to run away the room and i think i want to renovate a practice room here because of my protege secret i get a discount of four points i will go for the highest threshold here so i will spend five coins in order to renovate this room and this gives me nine incredible fame points how awesome is that so this was really important so i jump to 60 points i still get to place two of my banners there and i think the idea is not to really tie with him to be honest because otherwise he will get eight points if we both tie i think no one of us gets those points and i still have one more action left and why not go to practice i think that's a good idea so let's do the wolf cage onto here so he also gets a yield bonus of one and one before for Dalagat's air goes there. I think this is really the best idea to go for now. And yeah, that was my action in the academy. He will send his protege to the theater for three action points in total. Keep in mind, he ignores those pluses here. So he will place one trick marker here. That's three points for him. So he's jumping to 65 points in total. He has one more trick marker. And this is also a mechanical trick. Where can he place it? He can place it like this. This gives him three more points. So now it's 68 points. Insane. But those are all of his actions for the protege. I will go to the dark alley and therefore I will gain two special assignment cards. And I think I will go for the trick tweet and unstable prototype. Even turn three? No. No, I don't know. Let's go for the director's favor here. It doesn't really matter. Those are still four victory points if I'm not using those. 
He will go to downtown. He has four actions or four action points equaling two dice. And the first thing is he will go for yet another die here. So he will get another 36 fame threshold trick. So again, I shuffled those and he will get the vanishing elephant. How cool is that? He will put nine. Are you kidding me? And he will repeat placed a zigzag lady no no he will not of course he will do this trick here window to the other world he'll go to the lowest fame threshold if i'm not mistaken let me quickly check that no he will keep the window to the other world because this has the higher fame threshold for him ha huh, good that i checked this so he will remove the zigzag lady trick and therefore we'll get the vanishing elephant of course it starts fully prepared as usual let me put those items into his shopping list but he still is one more action left so he will grab a die worth six coins for him so we'll cash those in again by the end of this round i think yeah i will send my magician to downtown now i will grab the remaining coins there or should i go for another trick no i guess there's no chance i will be able to prepare trick I i'm really doing poor um using those tricks so let's let's go for those three coins and yeah i think i will lose this game anyway <laughs> He will send the manager to the theater. He will prepare two more tricks. Now it's the vanishing elephant. How cool is that? So he will place one here. This gives him one, two, three points. And he will also gain yet another of those Tricarion shot. Keep in mind, those are also worth some victory points by the end of the game. He can still place one more trick and he will place his remaining trick here, creating yet another trick link worth an additional three points so he's at 74 points i'm at 60 wow devastating i will send my manager to the workshop in order to prepare two of my tricks and yeah i think oof, this is really really poor i really have chosen the wrong set of tricks in respect it's also very important um say how often you can use those tricks he really has a lot of those tricks where he can have two or three trick markers or, and this is really something that you have to keep in mind i was really not paying attention here i think i should have sent his assistant to the academy first if i would have followed the um, order according but i missed that up Sorry for that, but no, I, well, I think it was not contested anyway anymore. No, I think it doesn't, doesn't really matter. So yeah, he will have two action points here. I think that's one action. So he will go for a practice room in this case. And here we are really lucky. This is a cool one because this is a trick uh, which is basically a practice room slot, which helps you to ignore component requirements. But he does, don't, doesn't really care about components. So he doesn't really gain anything from that, but he takes it away from us. I will send my last apprentice to the theater here preparing one trick and of course I will go for the wolf cage and I think I wanted to place this guy here um, this is a fame 16 threshold kind of trick so therefore I gain three points for this trick link so finally I'm moving a little bit but now he will go into performance phase and then he will crush me First of all, he will go here. He will roll the die. Yeah, he will rotate those guys around. I did not forget this one, but he was not going to place a mechanical trick because all of his more powerful tricks um, are from the optical category. So he didn't score any points. I don't have any of those mechanical tricks. And he still gets a card. In this case, that's yet another one of those theater special assignment cards and yeah with this last action he will simply go to the theater and then we will move right into the performance phase he will go for this card here because this grants him the most link and special cards here so therefore one link two links that's two points plus two points it's four points right off the bat one two three and four he gets the uh, appropriate um trick yields here that's six uh, six fame points five coins and one trick carry on chart so it's 84 points five coins and a trick carry on chart and i get the trick yield of the wolf cage and i'm practicing this as well so that's four fame and four coins awesome then we move into the classroom phase that's two more points for me and one more shot for the air 
End of turn, he will cash in his 20 coins. Can you believe this? Into four points, he's at 88, I'm at 69. Wow, this is so embarrassing. And then I'm doing all those end of turn stuff pretty much off camera. So we are moving into the final round. I will reroll all those dice, pay the wages and whatnot. Again, we do the assignment phase now. So I will get two points. I'm behind, he gets two points for free. So he's now at 19, I'm at 71. Ah, and again, I missed this. Of course, I forgot to slide over those performance cards. He gets to score this vanishing elephant. That's nine more points for him for free, or eight more points and three more coins. This is so insane. So he's now at 98 points instead of 90. Final round, those are my assignment cards. Those are the assignment cards for the air. I knew that the last card would be a perform card because this is the way how you prepare those um, plan cards. And yeah, let's go for it. There are no contested locations or but the theater, but I think I don't really care about the theater at this point in time. So I will send my protege here to the academy. And of course I want to renovate yet another classroom here. Yeah, let's go for it. Um, and I think I played this incorrectly the last time. So you pay first and then you get a discount afterwards. You still have to be able to afford the room, but it wasn't really a problem, but you really have to pay attention. So first of all, I want to spend nine coins now in order to renovate this classroom here. And it doesn't really matter which one I go for. I will score nine points. I get to place one of those things there. That's really embarrassing. And maybe, oh, maybe I can still do that. I think I can still do that if I'm not mistaken. So now I gain four coins back, which is pretty cool. I still score those nine points here, which teleports me to 18 points, 80 points, not too bad. I still have one action left and I think I can do the same again. So in this case, I will go for this tile here because I simply want to place the banner. So I will pay four coins. I get the four coins back right away. This gives me this classroom, doesn't really matter. I get to place another banner and now I'm in the lead and he didn't go to the academy this round. How cool is that? But let's not forget the one victory point. Okay, this was kind of unexpected to be honest. So that's really cool. He will simply send his protege to the theater preparing two tricks. So he will create a trick link here with his vanishing elephant. So he's now at 101 points, but he's not done yet. He can still place his hellhound, which he will place here. And this scores him yet an additional one, two, three fame points for that trick link. Let's go to the dark alley here. I will get two cards, doesn't really matter which one. Those are simply four points for me. He will send his assistant for two more tricks to place. But one thing I forgot, I have to slide this down because his two highest trick fame threshold thingies are pretty much depleted right now. So he now follows a slightly different one. So he would go to the downtown location first, but no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter because there is no competition whatsoever. So let's send the assistant to the theater. So he will place this trick here. Luckily, this is only one trick link. There is no circle, but that's still two more points for him. And his window to the other world will go to the Magnus Pantheon Theater here for yet another. No, that's only one fame point because it's only a famed threshold level one trick. Let's go to the workshop. Let's prepare our trick, the wolf cage. He will send his engineer to downtown for two locations. So he will simply grab both of those dice worth nine coins. I will send my manager to the theater. Unfortunately, because of the prophecy here, Friday performance also have, let's say, a lower, I think, um, yield threshold, pretty much like performing on Thursdays. But of course, this only affects us in this case. But I still get to place two tricks, of course. So let's place one trick marker here. This scores us one, two, three points. So we had 84. We still get to place our rabbit from the top hat. All time classic. And I think I want to place it here. That's two more fame points. And both of us now get one of those trick shots. 
Dark Arts Air doesn't do anything meaningful more. He would mess up the market role. We can skip that. He will send this guy to the workshop. He will send his magician to the theater. And of course, we will send our magician to the theater as well. And then we are already set for the last performance phase of this game. He goes first. He will choose this performance card. That's one link, two links here, plus three points. That's five points in total. So he's moving to 112. That's more or less it in respect to those bonuses. Now we can get over to those yield bonuses. That's his heart and his spade. That's 12 more points, 124. Are you kidding me? On top of this, he will also score six more coins in total. I think that's not enough. That's kind of good, but he's not done yet, of course. Um, we get to do our yield bonus here. That's the wolf cage trick. We are practicing this wolf cage, but we still get our uh, malice because of the Friday performance here, which really sucks. So we gain one, two, three points. We get one trick carry on chart and three coins. I think we really need those coins in order to pay our salaries. Then it's my performance. I gain one link here plus two points there. That's three points in total. One, two, and three. I get three coins because my manager is present. I get the trick yield as it is, even though I'm practicing it. Keep in mind, I'm still performing on a Friday. So that's one more coin and one, two, three more points. He will prepare his Hellhound trick. That's six stars. So that's 30 plus five more coins. Now he has enough and he also scores yet another Trickarion chart. We are not doing a classroom phase during the final round of the game, so I'm not scoring my usual two fame points, which is really a pity. I do get the eight bonus points because I have more banners than he has, which is not bad because we are moving from 95 to 103 victory points. Cool. He still gets some points for his fame cards. He has two cards of level 30, uh, 36, so he gets 10 more points. So he goes to 140. He will score his Tricarion shards. That's eight in total, so that's 48. His special assignment cards, he has still two left, so that's one, two, three, four more. Of course, we get to do the same. So we have four shards, so we are moving to 107. We have four of those special assignment cards. That's eight more points. So that's 115. And after I've paid my wages, I have exactly six coins available, which are two more points. So that's 117 points against this 152 points of Dargast. Dargard's air. You must be kidding me. But okay, that's pretty much the end of my solo playthrough of Tricarion using Dargard's Academy. The campaign was pretty successful. I kind of missed the final days. So shame on me. But I still hope you enjoyed my playthrough here. Hope to see you soon in one of my other videos. And yeah, until then, bye bye.